What's up guys, it's Warren here from Blue Cloud Creation X and today I'm going to go over scenes with you. So basically a scene is like a different levels or it's it contains all of your game objects and the way we can we way we can develop levels is by using different scenes. So in this video I'm going to show you how exactly we can we can go from a starting scene to an in-game scene to an end scene and loop all the way back to the start scene. So let's get into Unity. And right now we have an empty we have an empty scene. I'm just going to zoom out. So I want to create a new canvas. So basically a canvas is, let's double click on our canvas. Basically a canvas will hold the imagery of, of our game. So right now we're in sample scene. So let's go in here, create a new scene. Oh, let's control D duplicate this and let's rename this start and I'll delete the sample scene here to my start scene and we create a new canvas So we'll take our, so in our canvas we'll create a new UI element, a button. And in our button we'll call this Start and we also want to create a new object which I'm going to call scene loader. So the scene loader is going to be the object that's going to load our different scenes. So in our text, I want to increase the size of this, but it's so small, to around 40. And Okay, we'll leave it as that. And the next thing I want to do is duplicate start and control D again. Save this. So we're going to call this um, Let's rename this in game and rename this end. So if we go to start, I want to copy everything here and put this in in game and put this in end. So if we're going to start again, what we want to do for the scene loader is create a new script. Let's go here. Scene. Scene loader.
and then I'm going to open up my scene loader script. So what I want to do is I'm going to import scene management. So I'm going to go here using Unity Engine dot scene management. I'm going to remove all of this because we don't need it and I'm going to call this public void load next scene and the next thing I want to do is create an int let's call this current scene index so this is going to be for our current, uh, the number of our current scene. So I'm going to say scene manager dot get active scene dot build index. So this is going to get the number the integer of the current screen that we own, the scene that we own, and scene manager dot load load scene. Current scene index plus one. So this is going to load the next scene that's that we need. This plus one. So if we're on zero, it'll go to one. If we're on one, it'll go to two. And so this load next scene will be placed on the button. And then we also need another method for our ending screen to go back to the start. So we're going to say public void load start scene and here we can just say scene manager dot load scene and then inside load scene we can just pass zero because our start starting screen would be starting scene would be zero. So that's fine. So what we want to do now is in our scene loader, okay, we got the screen attached. So so in my canvas, on the my start button, let's go to my start button, I want my on click to have the scene loader object and the function I want is load next scene. Then we want to go into our in game. We save that. Let's go into button and Let's rename this. Let's rename this. Go to next scene and in our scene loader, let's add our script. And on our button, place scene loader in there. And we want to go to next scene. And now, 
is going to our end game scene and let's rename this go to start and for scene loader we attach our script And after attaching our script, we add the functionality and we say load start screen. So this is going to go back to scene zero. So let's save this and go into our build settings and then we'll add our scenes. So now we have our, st our starting scene, which is zero, our in-game scene, which is one, and end-game scene, which is two. So this zero, one, two is, is the order in which it will be in. So we exit from that. And if we run play, so this is maximize on play, we get a full screen. So let's cancel from this because it's we still on the end screen. So let's go back to start. So if we click on it, we go to scene number two. If we go to next scene, we go to scene number three. And if this one should take us back to scene zero, and so it does. Yeah, that's it for the tutorial guys. Hit subscribe for more tutorials and I'll leave the link for my first game in the description and also the Discord server which you can join where you can find more material on game development. Thank you guys for watching. Cheers.